So I return after all, all that to my original subject, how to change the world. My answer is by becoming a subjective part of the consequences of a local event. Becoming a subjective part of the consequences of a local event. At the different level, to fall in love can be change the world. <laughs> but it precisely to become a subjective part of the consequences of a local event. <laughs> By creation of an equivalence between freedom and discipline. Not an opposition, but a point where to be obstinate to do something is the same thing as a freedom. And the invention, by the invention of a new form of happiness, which is a victory against the potency of death, that is the potency of the patient to stay in your place. At a very important moment of the French Revolution, the great French Revolution, one of the great actors and thinkers of this political swing sequence, Saint-Just, has said, happiness is a new idea in Europa. Happiness is a new idea in Europa. Maybe we must create the condition to say the same thing. <laughs> we know that something is changing in the world when we experiment that happiness is not the predetermined goal of the movement, but the inventive subjectivization of the movement itself. Uh, it has been, in fact, a fundamental idea of Marx. For Marx, the name of the new possibility of collective justice, after some revolutions, some events uh, in uh, 1848 and so on, in the middle of the 19th century, for Marx, the name of the new possibility of collective justice was, as you know, communism. But Marx has written, he was young, in the manuscripts of uh, 1844, communism is not the program of a new society or an abstract idea of justice. Communism is the name of the historical process of destruction of the old society. So, you see, the change is not to achieve a result. The result lies inside the change itself as the form, in the form of the new subject. Or maybe we can say here, uh, happiness is not the general possibility of satisfaction. Happiness is not the abstract idea of a good society where everybody is satisfied. Happiness is the subjectivity of a difficult task to organize the consequences of some event. And to discover, under the sad existence of a world, the brilliant possibilities of the hidden real of the world. Finally, we can say to enjoy 
finally, the powerful creative existence of what was, from the point of view of the world, impossible. The powerful creative existence of the impossible as such, when we discover the possibility of this impossibility. So, how to change the world? The answer is a nice one, by being happy. Not as a result of the change, but by the change itself. <laughs> but we must pay the price. The price is to be sometimes insatisfied. It's a choice, a true choice, between happiness and satisfaction. And it is the choice of what we can name the true life. Maybe the, the world of today has uh, many defaults, but the most important thing is that the world of today is a proposed a false life, a life which is the seeming of a life. And so, to do the choice of happiness against satisfaction under uh, local experiences, artistic creation, political invention, and so on, and to be in the new freedom as a discipline is a choice against satisfaction in some extent. So we are exposed to the possibility to be sometimes insatisfied in the name of happiness. It's a price, <laughs> it's a price. The French poet, Arthur Rimbaud has written, the true life is not here. The true life is absent. I just say to you, after all, you can decide that the true life is here, that the true life is not absent. Choose the new happiness and pay the price. Thank you.